In 2014, Texas A&M and South Carolina have many things in common when it comes to entering the season, all of which the old ball coach mentioned this week. Obviously, they, they lost their quarterback and uh, wide receiver and offensive lineman, three number one picks last year. But uh, they're, they're probably a little bit like us in that uh, – that they haven't had a bunch of superstars to talk about all preseason. The Aggies must live on without Johnny Football and South Carolina without the number one overall pick in Jadavion Clowney, who led a Carolina defense to giving up only 20 points per game, the 12th best in FBS. Despite losing such a polarizing figure, the a &M coaching staff is still impressed with the defense in Columbia. They, they play extremely hard. You know, they don't, they don't do too much defensively. Um, but they, they line up and they play they play man and they play as hard as they can. Them in Alabama, one of the few teams that have held people under, what, 21 points, something like that, uh, over the last couple of years. You don't win 11 games three years in a row in this league, you know, not, not being pretty good across the board. To counter the South Carolina defense, someone may use a tight end in his offense for the first time in his career. With big body receivers like Ricky Seals-Jones and Cam Clear, playing wide out and in the slot, this year should look very different. A lot of it had to do with the field being spread for Johnny. You bring Clamp Cam clear in the game, you bring one or two more guys closer to Johnny, but that wasn't the real plan for us last year. And, and that's not the case right now. So you can be a little bit uh, more unique with things, with body types, with Cam clear and, and the amount of receivers that we have and the amount of running backs we have. I think we can uh, be a little more balanced instead of just, you know, always just going out there and throwing it around a bit. And we can't forget true freshman wideout Speedy Knoll, who will stretch out the field for this team vertically. Come Thursday night, expect a different offense without number two. Reporting in College Station, Mike McCoy, ABC 40 Sports.